Here with Coach Kapadich of Waukee Northwest. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Currently sitting three and four, and for some people, this is a must win this week here against Ankeny Centennial. Uh, talk about it this week. I mean, well, first of all, let's talk about last week. Atumwa is not a bad football team. They can run the ball really well. Um, you know, what was that like last week, that big of a win over that team? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I thought we played pretty well on both sides of the ball offensively. Um, you know, we, we scored in every drive until until we kneeled it out at the end. Um, so, you know, we went down there and, and, and played a, you know, they were undefeated and ranked. And we had to go on the road. So you always have to take those games seriously. So we went down there and, and came ready to play and, and had a good game. Matt Kiteland has been really good this year. Uh, is it surprised you how good that he's been this year as just a sophomore coming into the season? Did you think, oh, we're going to have a quarterback on our hands and – at this point, you'll have a good quarterback here for the next couple of years because he's been very good. Yeah, I mean, we knew he was going to be really good uh, heading into the season. And anyway, we had a couple of seniors. Bat we had a really good uh, quarterback competition with him and, and, and two other seniors. And uh, he's, he's a really talented kid. He can make every throw on the field. Um, am I surprised? No. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think he's even – I think he's even surpassed expectations. He's been – he's been really good all year, uh, you know, uh, has made good decisions. I mean, you know, he's – the few interceptions he have have been kind of at the end of the game where he's just been thrown up to make a play. So, so he's been pretty efficient, um, high completion rate and, and has done really well for us. Your leading passer, rusher, receiver, and tackler are all not seniors. And you talked about a good senior class that you have, but you know, th it's a growing season. Have you seen these younger guys grow as the year has gone on? Yeah. I mean, I think we've seen a lot of improvement. I think we're a better team than we were um, in week one or week two. Um, but, you know, we play really good competition. So so every night's a, a big game. And uh, obviously this week will be no different. Centennial is really good. So, you know, all of our games that we've been in, all these big Central Iowa games have been four quarter games. We've had the lead in the in the second half and unfortunately haven't finished in all those games. But, um, but, but you know, it, it, it's been, uh, uh, you know, it's, so, so I think we've gotten better, but it, it's, it's been a tough season. Let's talk about Centennial this week. Could consider it must win if you guys want to make the postseason just kind of how you're sitting. But um, you know, they're a team that runs the ball well, very good defensively. They've played a good schedule, as as you guys have. Uh, what has been the key this week in practice when it comes to taking these guys down here on Friday night? Yeah, I don't think we approach this game any different than any, any other one we played. I mean, you know, to us, they're all must win. So um, so I think we've, we've approached it the same. Uh, and I think, you know, the, the, the key to it is having a really good week of practice. Um, we know if we're going to be Centennial, you, you got to stop the run. I mean, they've, they've got some really good running backs. Um, the things they do on offense make, you know, it, it's difficult to prepare for. Um, and then defense, we got, we got to continue to move the chains. I thought we did a really good job that last Friday night. We were able to get first downs, consistently move the chains, and hopefully keep their offense off the field. Coach, we appreciate your time. Good luck to you and the Wolves here on Friday night. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.